you have a dual external tracker uh, with the B function models in such case and uh, this device can be packed in Euro pallet and sent whenever you want. Uh, what we need from you, actually we need some help to build our own dedicated controller. Why? Because if you will buy the standard controller from China, WSD 03 for example, it will be not ready and, and good enough to deal with the situation like in here in Poland, there, there is a lot of semi cloudy days and it's a losing position of the sun going back to east or something like that. So uh, we have to rebuild it completely. We provide our own MCU with our own firmware and then we have to change the relays to uh, edge ridges because they were burning every month actually. So it's not ready to, to use if you were buy it just like that. What we want to do in here? We want to just build our own PCB. So as you can see in here, you will see the cover of China version of controller, but this is indeed not China version. Of course, you can imagine that you will see that the LCD is different, and inside there's a lot of differences. I'm gonna show you in the, another video. Okay, let's see what exactly we are doing with WST03 China microcontroller. We want to fix something to make sure that it will be working. Cover off. And then we can see, of course, LCD, pretty helpful with the buttons, and relay. And relay has to be removed for sure in here. And the MCU, we'll see what we can do with it. From bottom side, you can see that the paths are pretty big, so we have a lot of place in here to make some adjustment and remove the relays. You can see, of course, MCU, uh, Darlington, RI, and then uh, the, the relays. Okay, so the relay is removed, so we want to use something instead of it. And in such case, we want to use Debur H bridge. Uh, it has some gold prints and the pads. And of course, they are not fitting straight in the place where the relay were connected. So we have to build some kind of proxy in here. There's much more than just connecting the H bridge. We have also place for uh, communication between the place where a relay were connected. We're putting that just like... So there is a place for gold pins from H bridge, as you can see it's fitting. And we have the place for ESP. And the small plates let us decide if you want to use a proxy uh, with ESP model or just be connected straight uh, to the to the bridge so uh, in such case we can imagine that ESP32 has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so we can collect the log and we can just implement some more sophisticated algorithm instead of this what we have in MCU in original MCU so I showed you how this how this on the field how the solar tracker is working with our solution and I showed you how to use the, the proxy board to, to, to improve a little bit China controller and uh, this is not all of course and the, 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 the controller the proxy solution gave us possibility to get the logs through the ESP32 and that gave us possibility to provide much better algorithm to the microchip so we prepared so I was able to reduce the size of source and of course STC ESP gave me possibility to load the source I have in here mm. the example board connected with this chip so I'm able to provide those uh, data in here there is standard China uh, algorithm what I wanted to do is get it out as you can see China to get it out of the chip and program it here so I just put it here and then this programmer decide what kind of code you want to use and then the other code and now I want to reset the chip and now it's programming and done so in here I have updated my I have updated my algorithm and 
Now I just want to remove this chip and put it, uh, the chip with my other. So it's a little. from now I'm 